48-year-old John Mike Wrights lived in Lewis and Clark County, Montana. He went missing in June of 2011. In October of the same year, his remains were found in plastic bags on the east side of McDonald Pass. An autopsy revealed that John was shot twice in the back of the head. Investigators found that he had been involved in long-running disputes with several of his neighbors. The police questioned them all, but did not really find any useful information that would lead them to the person who took John's life. There was one man who sparked the interest of the investigators, Leon Michael Ford. He was one of the neighbors of John. They had argued a lot about Leon not always having access to his property because of John. A game camera belonging to another neighbor shows Leon's car on John's property on the 25th of June 2011. Leon told police that they had reached an agreement regarding the access. It was just a few days later on the 28th of June that John disappeared. Investigators were highly suspicious of Leon, but they could not prove that he was involved with John's life being taken. They did not give up, however, and continued their investigation. Investigators found cable ties at all of the locations that John's remains were found. The specific type was last produced in September of 2011. The manufacturer told investigators that the ties were only available to specific distributors. Investigators then found records from a contractor at a naval air station with B Island where Leon worked, and Leon took some of those ties from a warehouse. There were no identification of what project he was going to use them for. Investigators that looked into the case files recently found that Leon had lied about a lot of details initially. Investigators also claimed to have concrete evidence that Leon took John's life and then tampered with evidence. But frustratingly, the details of the evidence has not been made public yet. Leon was arrested in September of 2020 in Washington. He was then taken to Montana. His hearing is set for early in 2021. Seventeen-year-old Barbara Blatnik lived in Cleveland, Ohio. She attended Erie View Catholic High School. Barbara was known as Barbie by some of her friends. When she was not hitchhiking to see her favorite rock and roll bands such as ACDC and Led Zeppelin, she could be found out with her friends around the Garfield Heights area. On December 19, 1987, she was at a bar with her friends in Garfield Heights. At about 8 p.m., they stopped at a friend's house to drink and hang out some more. At around 10 p.m., she called her parents to let them know she was headed home. She never arrived home, however. Her parents did not report her missing, as it was not unusual for her to sleep over at a friend's house instead. The next morning, however, her body was found alongside a narrow access road that leads to Blossom Music Center in Cuyahoga Falls. Barbara had been assaulted and strangled. The Cuyahoga Falls Police Department asked the public for any information and for witnesses to come forward, but no one did. All they could do was collect DNA from Barbara's body that belonged to the suspect. It was found under her fingernails, indicating that she put up a fight. There were no leads and the case went cold. Then in 2019, the police announced that they reopened the case and they were teaming up with Project Porchlight, who raised $6,000 for DNA testing. The DNA evidence that was taken from Barbara's body were then provided to Identifinders. It is a Californian company that does forensic genealogy using DNA databases. This led investigators to 67-year-old James E. Zastovnik, who lived in Cleveland, Ohio. They went to arrest him at his home in April 2020. Barbara's sister Donna said that she was in shock that an arrest has been made after all this time. Donna also shared the news on Facebook with family and friends who were equally stunned and pleased. 
she said that no one in the family has ever heard of or seen a suspect before. It is unknown why he did what he did to Barbara. Not much is known about James Astovnik. It was revealed that two of his brothers served time for a very similar crime, and that he has another brother who went missing around the time that he took the life of Barbara. James is currently being held on a $1 million bond. On April 16, 1997, Orange County policemen were dispatched to 2002 Lee Street for a possible burglary. A homeowner called the police after finding a broken window in the apartment that is connected to her home. Inside the apartment, a woman's body was found wrapped up on the floor of the bedroom. She had been strangled. Investigators used her fingerprints to identify her as 42-year-old Orlando resident Donna Bird. They looked into her record and found that Donna had been arrested at least 20 times for prostitution in the years leading up to her life being taken. Donna would often look for vacant locations to meet up with men. At a crime scene there were fingerprints that were found, but it could not be determined if the fingerprints belonged to her or a possible suspect. The lead dried up and the case soon went cold. The Orange County Sheriff's Office cold case unit recently reopened the case. They decided to submit the fingerprints again that was found at a crime scene back in 1997. In September 2020, a match was finally made. It led them to 51-year-old Jimmy Mahone who lives in Macon, Georgia. He was arrested in October of 2020. Jimmy was questioned and then taken to the jail. He then had to wait to be extradited to Orange County. In November, he was transferred from a prison in Bibb County, Georgia to Orlando. Jimmy is currently held in the Orange County Jail on a $100,000 bond.